I, I understand how Romilia works now. All right. Not Romilia. Reimu. I understand how Reimu works now for her fight. It's all set patterns, and I've screwed up. So, logically speaking, I should be able to do this fight with no damage taken if I know her exact path. The problem is, I need to remember that pattern and be on point with all movement, which I'm not. Like, right now, to cure the deficit of HP, I've accrued. I need to essentially... You know what? Just, just take me out now. Just take me out now. Seriously. Just get it done. It's not going to happen. I keep... I either get a good run where I never face a problem with... Contact damage... Or I end up in a situation where I take loads. Really, it's if I get hit by the fire. That I have a problem. Because everything else is in the area of 22. Uh, the amount of health I get back is not enough. Yep. I now have to just fight her a bit real time to... There we are. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, it, it was undone at the perfect time for me to just take a bunch of... Yeah, no, no, no. Th this is a type of fight where my I I'm either all in, I'm either all in, or I'm all out. And I'm all out when I'm talking, which is the... Which is the tough part, so I'm gonna just try without... Talking. pretty good. So apparently I just need to shut my out. Okay. Okay. Don't double down off. Don't double back on myself. Double down on what I feel like I need to. Okay. Yeah, I need to be center of the screen for that. And that moves you automatically, so you're automatically safe. Oh, that's three. Yep, that held me for a long time. Okay.
Okay, honestly. Uh... What the hell happened? Okay, uh... Okay. Doesn't need to be exact center, just needs to be close to it. Okay. Stopping time. Thousand daggers to... Try and get as much MP back as possible. This attack is easy, it's just that it comes after a bit where you're basically sealed from moving. And that wasn't that great. Okay. Oh my good lord. The amount of it man I got back was just Oh, it's so good. Okay, I can talk a bit. Make myself as small a target as I can get. Just everything. Ooh. It. What? I don't even understand how this works. I didn't try to understand. I just, I just live. I just chose life. That's all I can say I did. Okay, then you do fire from an angle. Right through. Ow. Oh. Nope. Nope. Just I frame through it. Thousand daggers to win. I forgot to jump there. Okay, I went a bit too fast. A thousand daggers. I did it. All it took was almost complete silence for most of it. And then just finally click. Impossible. I love that boss fight. It was it was fun because if you focus, if you focus. It's just patterns. Well. Well. Not bad. But your powers should be sealed in this world. Are you even able to fight me? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And this space Lady Romilia created has made me stronger. Even stronger than you, Raymo. Lady Romilia, and what's this? There are t two Notorys? That isn't me, it's someone pretending to be me. I see. You must be Flan, then. The mistress's sister? Can't be. Ha ha ha, you got me. Though I can't believe you never figured it out, Sakya. You're so gullible. Juan, why are you impersonating it, Natori? It's all your fault out here having fun all by yourselves. 
You never invite me. You, my sister, even Patchy. I hate all of you. You have it all wrong, Flan. Huh? How so? Romelia created Luna Nights as a world of illusion. Just for you. Just... For me? I'm sorry for keeping it a secret, Flan. Mistress, what exactly do you mean? Flan, you're just so strong. And stuck in the Scarlet Devil Mansion. You can't really let it all out, right? That's why Patchy and I created a world just like Gensokyo for you to use all your power in. That's why we created Luna Knights. By the way, Patchouli asked uh, for my help in designing Luna Knights. But we never imagined you would come here pretending to be me. So, that's what the... Uh, that's... So that's... What it was all about? Hold on. Y'all may be fine with things, but what about me? There are still strange things happening at the real Hakurei Shrine. Yeah, sorry about that. Spirit stuff like this... Uh, like that isn't my... A thing, really. So, I hadn't even considered it. Oh, come on. Up, oh, the world's deteriorating. Gotta go. Oh, d dear. What could that mean? Looks like this space has reached its limit. What does that mean? Since you two went all out in your fight, all that energy has built up in this world. This is an irregular space that was not in the original plan. So it's not very stable. We should probably get out of here. Lady Romilia? Itori? My powers are sealed in this world. This means that I can't fly. Guess I'll have to ride this. When in doubt, use the mech. That was truly it. Like, I have now done all that there is except for get that final gem shrine. Then, wow. You really could hash this out in a night. I mean, let's consider this. My first go through of this was what? Nearly five hours, and this is nearly three hours added. So, close to eight hours total. And all in all, amazingly fun. You could 100% hash this out in a night. <sighs> so, here's the end credits again. This was honestly a lot of fun. And as I said originally, when I thought I was done and would just end up collecting all the things that were left, uh, I really enjoy Metroidvanias and I want to play more. There are a couple that I definitely want to play on stream and a couple that I think would be better off just left as a side project so I can properly go into things. Like, I'm not a huge fan of Toho. I like watching people play, and I love the stories, the characters, a lot about it. I just can't play it myself. And I guess that, uh, I mean, to the gatekeepers, that means I'm not a true fan, but to myself, I feel like having played at least one game, I can properly call myself a fan. But as for the other Metroidvanias I'd love to play, there's Axiom Verge, a really, really, can't stress this enough, really weird game. And it's mostly weird, and you don't quite figure out what's going on. Boss Rush has been added to the shop. Woo!
Okay. Yeah, all I'm missing is that final uh, jewel shrine for emeralds. And that's either somewhere here, or it's somewhere in the fifth stage. So as much as I would like to go for that and... Nope, I'm going for it. And I mean, the only reason I'm going after that final gem now is because I've come this far. I might as well grab the final one. I may have to quickly look up where it is, because honestly, I don't want to take ages finding it. But uh, now that I've said my piece on uh, this game and... I was kind of abruptly thrust back in. Uh, there's Hollow Knight, which I would love to play on stream because I've only played up to the first Gormit fight. So there's plenty of me to have as a first taste. And I mean, just from what I've played, I love it. And honestly, Metroidvanias are just my favorite genre. Or at least close to my favorite. So, now that I'm in a safe space, uh, let's just very quickly grab... a guide to find out where things are. So... Huh. Well, I figured out where I missed it. Okay. Okay, there's some... There we are. Thank you. Here we go. Yep, Jewel Collector obtained. And all it took was just getting a brief map. Item Collector, Scarlet Devil Mansion, and Master. Wow. Apparently I was just... I was so close to getting everything. Okay. Let's just very quickly... Head back to the entrance. I forgot Smug Morning was there for a bit. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think if I am to do another Metroidvania as the stream to replace this, maybe not. I might go with something else. Uh, I think I'd have to go with Metroid Zero Mission. Or, nope, sorry. Had Metroid Zero Mission on the brain because I talked about it earlier. Eh, excuse me. Garlic is not sitting well with my stomach right now. Had something with garlic in it and it's just, it was just a bit too much. So, I think it would have to be... Metroid Fusion, the very first Metroid game I have ever played. And I know there will be people who say, Really? Well, you missed out when I'm playing the original then. Or Super Metroid. I have tried the original. And I'll say this. I, en I enjoy Metroid. I enjoy Metroidvania Metroid more than... Uh, original SNES Metroid. So, with that, I'm pretty sure I've 100%ed the game! 
The only other thing I can think of is to quickly check my achievements. Oh. Okay, never mind. Achievement-wise, I am not quite there yet. So it's mostly boss rush stuff. Beat the game on one quarter. And beat a boss in 10 seconds. I think I'd end up having that happen in Boss Rush. If Boss Rush uses whatever file stuff I have, like whatever character stuff I have. So, map 100%. And yeah, looks... Looks like aside from Boss Rush, I have completed everything I can for this F file. Yeah, except for the no continues. That, that'll take time. And practice. And basically alt f 4 the game when I fail. And I don't know where it counts as the end. I assume that the extra stage doesn't count for that achievement, but I'm, I'm not big on achievement hunting. I'm fine with leaving this here for now. So... That's it. That's the stream. That's Toho Luna Nights completely done. I, I'm honestly surprised that I was right that I could hash this out in a night. I didn't, but with this, it was definitely the. It was definitely enjoyable. It was definitely enjoyable. Ah, thanks for coming on down to my neck of the woods. I hope you've enjoyed. Sincerely hope you've enjoyed. Have a great rest of the day slash night wherever you are. Fare thee well and goodbye.